Hi guys, Elmer, your fire protection guy. We're going to replace this old conventional fire panel. This is the NFS 2.8. All right. So the problem in this fire panel is that all the detectors are not operating. It's a zone card problem. There is no power in the conventional zone circuit. And this is only used for roller shutter. So this is the roller shutter. You have a detector and a sounder on the other side, on both sides I mean, as well as there's another one on the opposite side. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to secure first the magnet door holder so the roller shutter will not drop. And then we go totally replace that. Now, I requested the customer, I said, I have a proposal, and I said, this fire panel must be relocated in the other side. Why? Because once the roller shutter drops, you have to go around the building just to reach that fire panel for resetting. And then you come back again, go around the building again, and then reset the magnet. So I told him, we have to move it on that corner. So next time it go off, the roller shutter, will drop you can reset it from here we don't know, need to go outside the building okay so we're going to start <laughs> i got that in camera <laughs> okay in this system you got one two three inputs well, one input and two output so you have a detector at the detector, see the resistor there, that's the two-zone two uh, card, two-zone fire panel. The problem here is that, that that's 240 volts and it's exposed. That's not allowed. So that's why this panel is really not compliant. You have a uh, delay, that is a magnet door holder trip delay. That means after an activation, that will delay the drop. Now you will notice that these are all my detection side, the 24 volt DC and my 24, 240 volts AC is always have a separate conduit that should be separated from the rest of the extra low voltage. Alright, take note, if you are not an electrician, you are not allowed to do the 240 volts. You must be an electrician, a licensed electrician. installation now is complete that is your delay timer for the roller shutter to drop we provide we gave them 30 seconds so the sounder will go off and then the roller shutter will drop after 30 seconds Sounder going up, the shutter is not shutting, providing a 30 second delay. Let it drop. System now is tested okay, so what's missing here is 
I need to provide instruction on how to reset the whole shutter if it drops and also I will provide a ladder that's the most important if somebody here to reset he needs a ladder to reach that that magnet door holder so I label them B1 and B2 so B1 and B2 should be on together before they can manually reset this is Elmer again your fire protection guy see you next time